Okay, so there's like mortals. This thing here. You scurry around, obsessed with your petty affairs, and then you die. But you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. Have you come to replace me in my task? <laughs> that would be typical. Wait. Were you sent to help me with the cultists? Before you die? Not much to tell. I just arrived myself. This mortal served the Great Eye, but he died before he could tell me about the other Daedric cultists that scamper about. They're creating an intolerable contradiction in reality. It makes my tentacles ache. Something here undermines a fate recorded by Hermaeus Mora. Likely foolish mortals trying to change what has already been written. To fix this, I could use some help. Hmm. It's common knowledge that mortals prize gold. Aid me and I'll give you some. I'd prefer to sit back and wait for entropy to claim us all. But I suppose we must do something. Let's survey the town. See if anyone survived and try to determine what the cultists want here. Oh, and despite my size, I'm good in a fight. You'll see. You mean besides the dead devotee of Hermaeus Mora? Hmm. They call themselves the Hidden Kindred. Since I could see them, the nomenclature must be ironic. <laughs> I killed a god. Be back. I yeah. also noticed some Daedra. Dramora of Clan Dreamcarver, sworn to serve Prince Vermeer. Vivek is a chill dude in, in uh, Morrowind DLC of Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, but then, then again, he's not speaking as much, much riddles. A rhetorical question? Must be. Very well. Vermina is the Daedric Prince of Dreams and Nightmares. I, also noticed uh, I think these two princes the were kindred. Before mentioned you ask, before. He's the Prince of Pestilence. Never heard of such an alliance before. Yeah, both. This is not an uncommon alliance. These both are lower, lower <laughs> pecking order data. Not not overtly powerful. Perwai is said to be most the most biggest. The mortal me complained of terrible nightmares before he died. Beyond that. I was just about to begin my long and grueling investigation when you arrived. If only you had more tentacles. It would make the work go faster. All of Alice? Or this tedious mortal plane? No, don't tell me. My answer is the same in either case. It's a dust moat, populated by delusional insects whose meaningless lives seem important to them. I can't bring myself to care. I have no clue. When my master exerts his power in this plane, the consequences linger. Footprints in the malleable clay of fate that harden to stone with the passing ages. I sense that events here run counter to something my master did long ago. Something special about a mortal settlement? Hardly. Olivellus fails to stand out from the sheer mediocrity of a thousand similar places in this world. Until the followers of a Daedric Prince seize control of it anyway. Which... may be something. As I said, divergences in the threads of fate call to me. My purpose is to correct those digressions, examine the contradictions, and rectify them. I can't leave until I succeed. Don't ask me why, there is no why. It simply is. I am Scrooge, a powerful servant of the Great Eye. Creatures of my Daedric Order call ourselves... Oh, it doesn't matter. Everyone else calls us watchlings. An insulting diminutive. But I expect nothing more. Oh, do you mock me? I detect a note of mockery. I should reduce your brain to rotten cheese for your temerity. Yeah, but what's the point? What's the point of anything, really? Just know that I can summon a mighty strike when fate requires it. <laughs> Watch her who's, who's depressed. Yes. But it's usually easy enough Sounds to like an ex -dude. a dude. <laughs> yeah. To summon me when the ripples of fate draw me here. It's not my fault the fragile mortal got himself killed. Well, maybe it is. Who can say? Fate works in mysterious ways. Watcher, watcher that we met in Blackwood had a similar kind of 
similar kind of uh No, stay back. I need to wake up. I have to. Are you are you real? Not another one of those awful dreams. And you look undisturbed. Don't you hear the terrible whispers? It started when a stranger came to town, a Tilvani master. She offered to purchase the old glass mine. I thought it was too good to be true. The mine closed years ago. But she offered us a chest full of gold, and the village elders accepted it. You know her. Master Shelrenny didn't stay long, but she sent an overseer who started hiring workers immediately. Master Shelrenny said she wanted the mine reopened as quickly as possible. Everyone in the village was given a job in the mine. Then others came. Masons and additional laborers, we thought. And the dream started. Nightmares. Toiling in the darkness. Working to cut malachite and stone for an arch and a statue. In the dream, they were building an arch in the mine while we dug out the glass and stone. What wasn't used for the arch was sent to restore a statue. At least that's what the overseer said. We woke each morning exhausted, hands bloody. I don't know, but listen. The overseer and his workers, they're Daedra worshippers. They rounded up the villagers and took them away. I... I hid. Check the green glass in. The cultists commandeered it. Now please, I need to get out of here. Okay. Nightmares. Sounds like Prince Vermina, all right. We should investigate this green glass in. How disappointing. Another name that overpromises and underdelivers. Yeah, well, we might as well look around. Hidden kindred. The gate bay. Sacred statue. Prince, Prince Shrine. Okay, so it was a former shrine of something. Dreamweaver and Prince of Pestilence, okay. So, either of them. Master Shao Reni. Are you familiar with this mortal? Yep. Conreve rule. I purchased a glass mine in the village of Alaveli. So our hidden kindred allies will construct the arch gateway using the mystic qualities of Malachite or compounds provided by Prince Perulite and Prince Vermina. Without throwing notice of fair. Hermes is more. We must sec secure the relic and the right before we search for the door from Torvesar Dream but the prince's fate will perceive pre his peril. Seldreni Paro. Okay, so she's in the League of... That must be the disturbance in fate Two that brought me. Princes. I assume this would turn out to be some pointless mortal delusion. A minor contradiction easily resolved. But oblivion gateways and Daedric shrines and plans to invade Apocrypha? Ugh. This might take longer than I thought. Clearly, the cult used the mine to construct a portal to Apocrypha for the express purposes of invading my master's realm. They also sent stone to restore Daedric Shrine, most likely one devoted to Periida Vermina. But who's Master Shelrenny? Okay, we, we met her. Hmm. Black books open doors to Apocrypha, so why do they need a gate? Still, Telvanni Masters are powerful. That makes her dangerous and important to the Hidden Kindred. But why go to all this trouble? It's impossible to sneak past my master's gaze. Doors in Apocrypha lead to secrets and knowledge. Something this Torvasard saw in a dream? Is that why Vermina is involved? I suppose we should investigate the mine next. Just make sure I don't get mutilated. Free constitution is so unpleasant. So basically, if they try to die, they are just, well, 
they spawn back in, in the oblivion if that's their home realm. Most of the time the research I undertake is wasted. But my study of the area indicated that the mine runs underneath the village. The entrance lies to the east. Hmm. Why do you bear the mark of my master, mortal? You don't seem to be a devotee. Of course he did. Mortals always get the special titles. But who winds up doing all the work? Usually that's me. Well, as long as we're both here, we might as well work together. What's the worst that could happen? Never mind. I already know. Hmm. Never heard of him. The letter we found claims he's an unaligned Dramora, working with Vermina and Periite. And with Master Shilreni, too. It's highly unusual for a Dramora not to be dedicated to a clan or a prince. Then again, he the can, can be like a uh, follower of Dagon. Another contradiction in a flood of discrepancies. Daedra don't normally dream, not like mortals at any rate. Not even the Dremora who consider themselves above the rest of us. I may need to look into this Torvasard when I return to Apocrypha. Okay, this is going interesting. I have noticed that uh, recently uh, ESO DLCs have been like layered uh, layered stories that there's like A and B and C uh, parts of the game. Glass mine. Glass should glass should be and glass is actually metal in, in this world. Glass should be s supposed to be like metal and it's pretty new. That was something that high elves actually could do but then one Dunmer servant slash uh, Slave actually escapes from Somerset and <laughs> re uh, revealed their secrets to everyone <laughs> in the world. Oh, Oblivion. Mortals should have the decency not to leave their empty husks lying about. It's untidy. <laughs> yeah. M move your corpse uh, elsewhere. An arched gateway. It's inactive, but I can detect the lingering energy of Apocrypha in the air. It must have closed Isn't recently. that peri Periite's Look around, flag? Look mortal. We need more information before I attempt to activate this gateway. Is it safe? Contradictions cling to those tools like void tips adhere to a watcher's tentacles. Leave them for now. We need to deal with the game. Oblivion Gateway Instructions. Light Crow. The Senpai Seven Tomb Grind, the dismal name, but I beat the open. Seven Arachs Fane. Okay, so that's the invocation to reach Apocrypha. This is bad. But at least we have the invocation needed to activate the gateway. An obscure. Uh, I suppose we have no choice. We Where need did to... Shilreni dig it up, I wonder? Uh, I suppose we have no choice. We need to activate the gateway and follow Hermaeus Mora's enemies to Apocrypha. Such heroics aren't usually part of my duties. So it goes. I'll open the portal. Then in we go. Did I use the wrong words, mortal? My investigation is incomplete. To find out what the hidden kindred seek in my master's realm, I must follow them. And since you agreed to assist me, you must follow me. I like it less than you, believe me. Hmm. Apocrypha can be overwhelming for mortals. You may find power or despair, knowledge or madness. Still, you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. I think you're meant to go there, and damn it all, I think I'm meant to go with you. Ready yourself, mortal. Now, what was that invocation? Ah. By seventh Umbra and the dismal name, I bid thee open the Beliarch's fane. I followed a disturbance in the threads of fate to this location, mortal.
Here we are. Behold, Apocrypha. Don't look up, mortal. I understand your kind find our sky disturbing. Let's see. Head south. They went that way. Okay, so this is part of the Apocrypha. And we saw part of it in, in the Skyrim, but this is like totally different place and you can actually advent, adventure here. <laughs> so, there's even flowers. Portal to Necrom. Southless Bite Base Sign and Portal of Necrom. Follow the trail. Music will never pay off the debt now. And now they are here. Immortal I chased after in Fargrave. Yeah, Fargrave was another Oblivion realm. Isaac in the dirt? Huh? Robbed of the one thing Madam Wim asked me to keep safe. My debt to her will never end after this. They stole a secret. I carried it through this awful ravening morass to trade at the obscured forum. Madam Wim wants a boon from her Maeus Mora. But the Void Prowler clan found me, kicked me, then stole the secret. I'll never get it back. They would just kick me again. I'd need help. You could help. Mortals lack gold, right? I have some. We'll find the Void Prowlers, and then you'll take the secret. Maybe kick them back? Then you can keep Hezek safe while we finish my job. I can track the Void Prowlers with my mirror, but I lost it when they chased me. Look around some stairs by the shore, and grab anything that might belong to the thieves. <laughs> That'll be helpful. That's it. Get walking. I hear mortals require exercise. When required, I don't have much choice. His debt to Madam Wim is long, and only getting longer. So yes, I carry secrets. Fetch people. Do her shopping. Whatever she asks. That's an odd question. How do you carry anything? You put it in your pocket. Or maybe your pack if it's a big secret. Several hundred years ago, I hired an intron cart to convey a particularly large secret for Madam Wim. <laughs> physical item? <laughs> What's physical? Am I physical? I made this meat heap, you see, out of energies from oblivion. So what am I? Physical or energy? Mortals have souls, yes? Or oh, what are you meat? Or a soul? Both, right? There you go! First, I didn't use it. It was stolen. Anyway, it looks like... Uh, what do mortals call it? A thing you used to eat? A fork, yeah. A uh, fork. I'll tell you why it chose to look like that. Huh? Secrets aren't known for explaining themselves. Fork. <laughs> Hopefully it's not the fork I'm thinking about. Busy. People always need something from her. The House of Whims gets so full that I need a side entrance just to get in. Of course, when she's busy, that means I run all over oblivion with menial tasks. They're a Dramora clan. Ignore the excitement. I hope it's not Forky. No one sees them as more than petty brutes. Since anyone in Apocrypha probably has a secret or two, the Void Prowlers can easily steal them from the unsuspecting. 
Then, then again, it could also be a uh, Uskramor's <laughs> soup spoon, <laughs> which is fork. <laughs> Actually, this guy. Is this is something they want. I see them in Fargrave sometimes, always pushing people around. Sometimes they even do business with Madame Wynne. <sighs> That's how they knew poor Hizzy carried a secret. Probably tracked me the whole time. Wasn't my choice. Madam Wim wants a boon from the big eye in the sky. Oh, wait. I should probably be respectful while I'm here. Anyway, the ravening morass is where they built the obscured forum. And that's where I can get the boon. So, here I am. What's there to know? Look around. It's a, it's a morass. I don't really know what a ravening is, but I'm sure it's that too. I guess it's not the worst place in Oblivion. Cold Harbor? Oh, now that's awful. Or oh, no, it's so <laughs> boring. Ever been? Oh, uh, never mind. I guess you'd understand the forum as a big marketplace, but instead of buying things mortals use, you, you trade knowledge. It has any kind. Truths, fantasies, wisdom, whatever you need. What well, if I can get it back, then yes. Inside the forum is a thing called the Intake Maw. You can deposit some knowledge into it. It's sufficiently powerful. The Maw delivers a boon from Hermaeus Mora. I suppose Madame Wim thinks this secret has enough power. No, it's a secret. Secrets rapidly lose value the more people know it. If it becomes worthless and Heza can't trade it for a boon, Madame Wim will just add even more to my debt. I suppose you can. It's not like we need to catch up with escaping thieves or anything. Honestly, I'm happy to talk about anything other than this place. Even weirder place than Motorwind. Catalog. Oh no. Pick up the pace, mortal. Hold, intruder. I failed to support your allies, but I won't allow any more of you to enter the catalog. Uh, this should be interesting. I was never allowed to visit the Tranquil Catalog before. Okay, nothing else to say, okay. Pardon my impertinence. Now I see that you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora and travel with one of the great ice watchlings. Have you come to aid us, stranger? Invaders forced their way into the tranquil catalog. I think they were devotees of Periite and Vermina, but how could that be? And Dreamcarver Dramora accompanied them. They killed or drove off my fellow ciphers. I am a humble cipher, a mortal scribe in service to the Great Eye. This is the Tranquil Catalog, a register and index of the contents of Apocrypha. Hermaeus Mora's enemies could wreak havoc with the information stored here. They scattered once they broke into the catalog, but two headed toward the Pool of Inquiry. A dream carver, Kinreeve, and a second Remora with markings the likes of which I've never seen. Please, you bear the great eye's mark. Stop them. The pool of inquiry? I know the way, mortal. Tranquil catalog. Register of swords. Ciphers. I wonder what they are up to. Invaders want a mess. These dead mortals will just lie around and smell until someone removes them. Why can't your kind dissipate graciously the way Daedra do? But let's keep moving. The way to the Pool of Inquiry is straight ahead.
everything is based on the books. Crown ball. Okay, that's a hunger. Mirri is really useful in this this DLC, apparently. Is the great eyes name among the Kaji? Gather the tears, mortal. So, this kind of proves that uh, those different names are actually different aspects of, of the Daedric Prince. Rahin, cat who walks. Rahin and, and Hermamura, I see you, Shadow. Right, <laughs> he stole a book from Hermamura. Books that knows. Book that knows. Huh. Why did it kill them to run away? Well, now I guess it wouldn't. Maybe they should try that. Back, I hope you're watching. <laughs> Okay, now now we found the last. The is called my master here, Mamora. Pity they're long gone. <laughs> Hands. I'm not jealous at all. Now take the tears and place them in the pool. Okay, so Ailich. <laughs> Mari, very interesting else. Interesting. <laughs> Luz can't manifest though. Uh, Lara and Dinar. So he was last king of the aliens. That's, that's probably they were super else just because they actually actually used a lot of used to worship Hermamore and uh, other Daedra as well. Enter the pool and it will take us there. Well, that's useful. The Tranquil Archives. One of the main repositories for Hermaeus Mora's glyphics. We need to find the invaders. Ah, this is the glyphic. Now I know where to find the memory of the dream. The prince help me remember. Despite your predilection. Prince Varanina commands me to punish more as servants clamorous. So I did. Excessive and pointless. But I have what I came for. I believe it. Do what you will. I'll deal with our eavesdroppers. Well, that's... that's good. Okay, he's in a bigger form, and and Miri is almost down. 
Well, he's tanking the Tremora. Preserved in this glyphic. We should find out what it contains. Archive glyphic, which is true name of something something. From the glyphic, read the mortal. But the pact primordial. Yes, our forget spec ur diedra. Time realm we may not come, not see or to ours. It in the domain its prince is sovereign. Only by invitation my other manifest within. And so matters have stood stood still. primordial prohibits danger princes yes. from entering another's realm. But that's hardly a secret. Uret Daitra. For a thing be, uh, forgotten is not a thing that has be, never been. It becomes secret possessed by one alone. The invenable knower, the lord of secrets. Those who once knew that thing may dimly sense its absence in uneasy in easy, in easy dreams. Note that place exists in an endless realm where the Lord of Secrets preserves the memory of every forgotten thing. So it's probably forgotten who and how the pact between Daedra was made. And uh, Vermina saw it in uneasy dreams. The said he was trying to remember a lost dream. He believes he can find it in my master's realm. Secret of Tormenting Eye. A black book for a dire purpose. The right necessary to unlock the secret most dangerous and best left forgotten. Tormenting Eye? That's one of my master's black books. Glyphics endure for eternity. I've never heard of any erasing themselves before. Very strange. Do you understand the texts that remain mortal? I found the words very disturbing. One concerned the Pact Primordial. Could they be seeking a way to subvert that ancient restriction? The Probably. second mentioned lost dreams, such as the one Torvasard seeks to recover. It told of a place in Apocrypha to find such misplaced memories. No. But we have to assume Torvasard learned the location before the text faded away. The final book referred to one of Hermaeus Mora's most infamous black books, The Tormenting Eye. It said it contains a right for unlocking dangerous secrets. Good, good thing it's not possessed by a uh, power hungry Telvani master. Wait, that didn't go so well. Master Selreni has the black book. The pact refers to ancient laws that bind the Daedric princes. No prince may physically intrude in another's realm, everyone knows that. Well, perhaps not mortals. That they sought out the tome tells us something important. So basically, in a base game, why the Meridia could actually invade um, Molagbal realm is was that Molagbal had technically invited her in. The invaders found a way to enter Apocrypha undetected. Perhaps they hope to open a path for one or more of the rival princes? That would be disastrous. There's nothing more we can do here. It's time to exit the Tranquil Catalog. One moment and I'll conjure up a portal. So thing is... We have four Fargrave. Which is like Oprivion Realm without Prince, but it's still... Uh, Directed by a code that binds Daedra, so it's it's interesting. So the rules are really important for Daedra. 
the mortars are outside of rules and they can uh, mortals can uh, actually ask in to towards the godhood in the Nern Tamriel so this is really interesting that somebody those Daedric princes are trying to like uh, cause the borders the between oblivion realms to fall down we can speak here mortal I've never faced such a convoluted contradiction of fate before. While we learned the cause of the incongruity, I wasn't able to make the necessary corrections, unfortunately. At least we chased off Torvasard and defeated the Kinreve. You want to help me? What a strange mortal you are. But resourceful. I'm not sure I would have learned anything at all without your assistance. Here's the gold I promised. You earned it. This problem bears contemplation. I'll find you again soon. Come on, a tongue set. For some reason, <laughs> this this place is giving us common on, a tongue set. That's more damage. Not DPS, just damage. Ah. Oh, I wait. My master, Hermaeus Mora, wants to speak with you, mortal. He will use me as his vessel. Know that the prince's secret addresses you, chosen of fate. Dude, he's he's I can like a mouth. Through my watchman's eyes, speak through them, even act through them when necessary. You and Sprout uncovered a threat before even I became aware. That concerns me. But you and Scrooge were not fooled. For that, I give you a gift. So that I may better aid you against this ongoing threat to my realm and yours. I will make this watchling available to you for the duration of our agreement. Now, Laramil comes. Uh, here, here he is. And see if the Void Prowlers dropped anything. Gather items. 